Hello and welcome back to Yay Basketball, the basketball game show. Monday, March 13th, 2023, recording live from the Yay studio. I am your host and producer, Michael Padilla. Along with me today, I have one, Trey Dishner. Hello. As well as one, Justin Moore. Good morning. And Bob Aldrit. Hey, Michael. Hey, how are you today, Bob? Oh, just like any other day. Great. Good. Good to see you. You look great today. Oh, thanks. My, uh, I don't know, Atkins. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, the Peloton working out for you? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Good. You look good, buddy. Uh, well, thank you so much for joining us today, everyone. We do appreciate it. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, rate five stars, share with friends, and follow us at yay underscore basketball on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Add me on the group. Last week, we played a brand new game called Swish and Andition, as well as What Did He Say and Pick or Roll, in which Trey told us how a team of toddlers could hold their own in an NBA game. That's right. It's pretty confusing. <laughs> so. it, was a, it was a great one, so be sure to check that one out if you have not already. Now, this is the Basketball Game Show after all, so before we dive into our first game of the day, Justin, can we get an update on the scoreboard and a recap of our picks from last week, please? You can indeed. Uh, after some kind of uh, weirdness going on with some picks for you and Bob, Michael, uh, we had to redo some picks, yes, so you yeah. took 80s over at 27 and a half. He had a big... Eight. Eight. Uh, I knew I should have gone under. I was like, he's playing the Raptors. Nick Nurse is a really good defensive coach. Uh, That's okay. Maybe he keeps this up. No. No. Uh, And then you took FWV 23 for over 20 and a half. He had eight. Eight Uh, points, So, Bob, you're in last place with 950 points. Michael, you are in third place with 1,250 points. I am in second place with 1,400 points. I had Luka Doncic over 33 and a half versus Pelicans. He only had 15. I think he got hurt in that game, so... Uh, Dame's under at 33 and a half versus Celtics hit for you, Trey, which puts you at a big commanding lead at 3,900 points. Yeah, you doubled up. I like it. It was good. You doubled up and you got a good lead. And uh, if you want to keep track of all of those game picks throughout the month, be sure to hit the link in the description of this episode to join our chalkboard group chat. It is a fun and free way to support the show. Uh, And uh, yeah, we do punishments at the end of every month. Uh, You know, some you might see. Some you might not, uh, and uh, uh, well, most of them you'll see, but <laughs> some you might not know, understand if you're not watching on YouTube. Uh, Got to. Hint, hint. Uh, <laughs> all right, now this is going to be a, an action-packed episode, so let's just dive in. Reintroducing an old classic in a, in a modified way. Let's do What Dude Just Did This. Ooh. I was kind of like in shock that this whole thing happened. At that time, I'm walking to the free throw line. I'm thinking, like, man, did this dude just did this? Is this real? (laughs) In this game, I will read you a stat line by a player from the last week in the league. It will be your job to work as a team to tell me very simply, what dude just did this? You get it right, you get 100. You get it wrong, I I get it. Ooh. All right, you're working as a team, and you can ask me one yes or no question per round. I just want to hear this drop real quick. It's a classic. If you've been listening a long time, you know that that is a classic. Man. All right, team, are you ready to begin? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. How yes, about sir. a little uh, music? Yep. Please. Oh. oh. This dude scored 38 points along with five rebounds and two assists, including a buzzer beating jump shot to send the game to overtime, where his team would lose 126 114. Hey, guys, what dude just did this? Oh. Trey, um, what are you thinking? First thing that comes to mind to me was Emmanuel Quickly. I think that may have been a little long. That ago. was a yeah, long that was ago. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah, the last um, seven days. Last seven days. Yes. Um, hey Bob, thirty-eight points. It's not Quickles. Buzzer beater. It's a Warriors game. Um, it's a Warriors game. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they made the Dubs go to OT this game. Ah. I know who this dude is. Oh, oh who's this dude? Oh, who who is this dude? So. Oh, wait. So, <laughs> all right. Correct me if I'm wrong. It, it's the guy that hit the. Yeah, what well, the stats was he hit 38 points, five mm-hmm. rebounds, two assists, and a buzzer beating jump shot to send the game to overtime. Yeah, it's Steph. Steph. Steph, yep. Steph Curry just did this. <laughs> Steph, Steph Curry. Curry, final answer? Yeah. Yes. Nope. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? No, you were close, but not quite. It's this guy. Lowry can't get it in. He finally does to Butler. Jimmy Butler. Oh, 
Michael. Jimmy Butler. That's yes. a good one. A Jimmy good Butler one. and the Miami Heat lost their eighth game in their last 12 on Saturday. <laughs> the Jimmy, Be- Jimmy Butler-led squad is now firmly in the seventh seed in the East and will most likely have to fight their way through the play-in <laughs> tournament come April. How will the Heat hold up among the head honchos of the East come playoff time? You like that one, Bob? Always, Michael. Thanks, buddy. Mm-hmm. Trey, you're up. How do you think the Heat are going to do in the playoffs? Well, right now they're in seventh, like you said. Uh... I honestly see them. Hmm, I see them jumping to the fifth spot. Whoa! Yeah, who are we? Yeah, I I see them playing out really well. Uh, I I think Jimmy Butler, I think Tyler Hero, Kyle Lowry is gonna come through and push them to that fifth seed. I think the the Nets are gonna drop. I see the Knicks staying where they're at. Um, but yeah, I see them. I see them going to the fifth. So spot. they're three and a half games back right now. But yeah. you get you got them sliding up into the five spot. Okay, I so let's that. make they make let's say they make the five spot. I think we can probably say the Cavs are safe at the mm-hmm. four, yes. right? Yes. What do you think happens if it, if it is a four five matchup for the Heat? Four five matchup. I see in favor of the Cavs at home. I honestly, bro, the that's heat, a sweet. The Heat never really play. The, I honestly see the Heat stunning the Cavs. I see the, the Heat hasn't really okay. been coming through in the playoffs, but I see them actually. The, the Cavs don't have uh, chemistry at all, which I, I'm really? a big Cavs fan. But, uh, yeah, I see, I see the Heat beating them. Okay, Justin, yeah. what do you think uh, about the Heat? Well, if they move to the fifth seed, they're going to get swept by the Cavs. If they yeah. move to the sixth seed, they're going to get swept by the Sixers. And if they are the seventh seed, they're going to get swept by the Celtics. And if they're the eight, well... They're gonna lose in four to the Bucks. So uh, no matter to me, no matter what happens, only the top four seeds in the East can do anything, in my opinion. So I, I have no faith in the Heat to realistically accomplish anything in the playoffs. They're gonna obviously gonna be in the playoffs, but I don't think they're gonna do anything. Wow, we Bob. Wow, we. Uh, <clears throat> listen, we're talking about the Miami Heat here, okay? We're talking about Eric Spolstra. We're talking mm. about currently first in the Southeast Division, <laughs> okay? You know what I mean? It's very impressive how you're talking with your mouth the, closed. The <laughs> oh, okay, there it is. Heat are always such a playoff. In my mind, I just think of them as a playoff team. They don't (laughs) care about the regular season as much as they probably should, and we see that with Jimmy Butler getting frustrated and literally walking off the court before the game's over. (laughs) I I know earlier on the year I said the Heat, once it comes to playoff times, they figure it out, but, man, it's just so hard to think the Heat will actually move past the first round. I mean, yeah. the Cavs, they're going to want they're going to mollywop them. Yeah, you play the only team that doesn't want to play them is the Knicks. And even then, that game goes to what, 6 games and the Knicks still win? <laughs> I don't know. I uh, good luck trying to keep Jimmy Butler, Miami Heat. If you're not watching this on YouTube, please <laughs> go to YouTube and watch this. We're going to talk about it at the end as why, but please go watch it. Why, Michael? <laughs> Nothing. You just look funny yeah. today. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. You talked about you don't have faith in the Heat. I have faith in Eric Spolstra. Yeah. I have faith in playoff Jimmy. And I have uh, faith in clutch time Bam Adebayo. Uh, he actually uh, leads the league in uh, defensive um, efficiency and defensive uh, plus minus in clutch time situations. Kyle Lowry is past his prime. We can all agree on that. Mm-hmm. Yes. They don't have the depth that they did in the bubble. We can all agree on that. Of course. But this team has a good defense. They are second in the mm-hmm. league in points allowed per game, and they have an elite clutch time performer in playoff Jimmy Butler. Uh, this Heat team is not going to win the title. No. They're probably not going to make the conference finals. No. But I'll tell you what this team is going to do. I don't know who, and I don't know how, so this produce- prediction is a little loose, but this team is going to upset an Eastern Conference contender in the playoffs. Uh, and I think it's going to be the Sixers. Yeah. Give me yeah. Spo over Doc. Give me playoff Jimmy over playoff Harden. And give me one of the only guys in the league that can physically match up with Embiid to win a tough, hard-fought seven-game series that sees the Miami Heat advance to the Eastern Conference semis. I think that they, I think we get a three-six matchup in the first round with the Miami Heat and the Sixers, and I think they go to seven, and I think the Heat beat them. So it's not too far-fetched that if the Heat lined up with the Cavs, that they could upset them. Yes, I think that's yeah, totally. I think that's totally within. I was not. I was yeah, not okay. rebuking you I for was, that. I was just making sure. Here. Yeah, oh, no, I, I don't think that's crazy. It's not, but not I, a hot take. I, I think. Yeah, I realize yeah. that my prediction is a little bit of a hot take, but I don't think it's. I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. Every single time that the Heat are in a position where it's like, oh, they're underperforming. Here we go. Let's roll around playoff time, and we underestimate them. They give someone their best shot, and the other team does not have one in return consistently, time and time again. So. 
I'm gonna I'm I'm you know I, I'm gonna put a little stock in the Heat right now, and I'm gonna say that I think the Heat can beat the Sixers. And if they do meet up in the postseason, I'm going Heat and seven over the Sixers. So. Ooh. That's my hot shot. Gotcha. Hot shot. All right. Good job to me. Thanks. 100 points to me so far. On to question <laughs> two. Mm. This dude scored 17 points, eight rebounds, and four assists in a 128-119 win to solidify his team's place amongst the best in their conference. Hey, boys. What dude just did this? 17 points. You'd, you'd think it'd be big game sometimes. 17 points. Sometimes he Did he say um, eight rebounds? Was that what eight it was? Eight rebounds and four assists. Mm -hmm. All right, so 17, I'm, I'm eight, looking four. at the big boys I will here. give you a bit mm -hmm. of a hint. Uh, also, just keep in mind, you do have one yes or no question per mm -hmm. round. Um, the, his performance was the best. He was the best performer on his team on this night. And you said it was in a win? Yes. Okay. 128-119 win. 128-119. Does that count as my yes or no question? Because I didn't mean that to be that. Um, um, no, that was just a clarification on the hint. That's fine. You kay. can still have your question. Do we want to narrow it down to the conference? Conference, there, maybe. Yeah. And this team is the or can contender? I hear? The, yeah, can I hear the stat line? Like what you all said again? Yep. Uh, this dude scored 17 points, eight rebounds, four assists, and a 128-119 win to solidify his team's place amongst the be uh, the best in their conference. Mm. 17, eight, so, six. Kind of. 17, eight, and four. Thank you. <laughs> 17, eight, four. Kind of sounds a little. Uh, no, it, it's not quite Kevin Durant esque. So here's what um, I well. here's what I want to potentially. Would we rather break it down to conference or or instead of that, go let's pick a seed number that they would be over. You get what oh, I'm saying? Like would they be a four seed or is over this team in the conference? Is this team currently a three seed or higher or something like that? Is that the kind of question we want to ask? To How, that down I'd go conference. Better? Conference? Ooh. I mean, what do you guess one of the best. I mean, it's conference? either eight teams or can we go division? Teams. Four teams, yeah. I, just, I think you're deliberating about the question to ask. Why don't you just ask a question? I love it. All right, let's go. That way is you can this, deliberate is then this, about the. Okay. Is this a current four seed or better? Yes. All right, so now we know that this is straight up eight teams. So yeah. run it down, east to west. Bucks, so, Celtics. Oh, could this be? A big man like as in a Brook Lopez. <gasps> 17, <gasps> 8, 4. 17, That's 8, a four. pretty big, but they won Giannis their game. Giannis has been out. They won their game, and the big news would be Bucks versus Warriors, and the Bucks lost that. They yes, just, they they just, just lost against the Warriors. Yeah, hey, they just. Hey, Kyle, love you. <laughs> okay, I don't, then I don't really know. Um, well. Solidifying they just beat the, as they just one beat the of Suns. the best. So somebody, oh, this is somebody a bonus Celtics? line. Celtics, bro. Is this a Sabonis line? Okay. I don't know. I mean, uh, everyone wants to give the Kings yes, their flyers yes, and yes. not at the let's same go, time. Let's go Sabonis. Okay. And they win, and okay. they put up points. Let's go Sabonis. Go Sabonis. Send it. Sabonis. Final answer. Yeah. Great job, Bob. Yep. Oh! Hey, woo! Well yes. done. Well yes. done. Let's go. <laughs> yes, Let's yes, go. yes. Good job. Good job. Exactly. Uh, yeah, they beat the uh, they beat the Suns. Uh, granted, without Kevin Durant, but still, they beat him 128, 119. <clears throat> The Sacramento Kings have officially shocked the world. They have eclipsed their projected win total. They are second in the Western Conference with the highest rated offense in the NBA. We have talked about this team periodically throughout the season, but it is time once again to light the beam. Mm. What happens to the Kings in the postseason now that they are the two seed, Trey? Now that they are the two seed, uh, I see the Kings. I'm I'm happy with the Kings, but I see them honestly losing early. Okay, uh, why that is is just because of the chemistry. I bring up again. Uh, Sabonis is a really good addition. He's been playing amazing. Uh, they got De'Aaron Fox. They are the number one offense in the league. I just don't see this team matching up against the Suns, against the you know the Warriors, even the, against the – I see when it comes down to the Grizzlies even. if Without jaw. Well, they won't be playing the Grizzlies yeah. if uh, unless something crazy happens seeding-wise, but yeah, I feel For you. sure. But, yeah, no, I, um, I don't see them going far. Uh, I see them. Obviously, they're going to make the playoffs. They, I can see them getting past the first round and maybe losing after that. Okay, all right, Justin. I just kind of like the Heat. See a first oh, round. Oh wait, exit. Real, real quick. Um, hang on. Okay. Fox with a pocket pass inside to Sabonis. Nice defense, able to flip it up. And Thank you. I, I I pulled the sample, so we might as well play it. Go ahead. 
Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I see a first round exit. I um, they're either gonna. I mean, as of if, if it stood right now, they'd play the Timberwolves, right? And uh, they could probably beat the Timberwolves, but I don't think any of us think the Timberwolves are the number seven seed uh, going into the playoffs. I think they're going to be Dallas or the Lakers or even the Warriors. I think they are a first round exit, kind of like the Heat. Bob, if they see the Warriors, they're a first round exit. That I, I think right now that's the number one team that I see them being like, oh, okay, first round. Yeah, probably not. Um, I do see them getting past the first round. In fact, I give them really they're gonna be they're gonna be good. Like come on, they're nine and two over their last eleven games. And I mean, this is when it really matters to play well. I know the better teams rest their stars. The Kings aren't. They're still playing De'Aaron. They're still playing Sabonis. They're still winning these games. And you say they can't take on the Suns. They just went to Phoenix and beat the Suns. Like, (laughs) the Kings are legit. And I do feel bad for not talking about them enough. And I think they deserve all the flowers. They're at 40 wins. Um... You know, preseason, those were there were those bros that went viral. They were like, Kings 40 win season, we're gonna win 40 games at least. And then everyone's like, Oh, what a bunch of fu- what a bunch of idiots. Right. But even when those guys said 40 wins, 40 wins at that time probably looked like what the five seed maybe, and nobody expected oh, the West yeah. to be this competitive. Oh, right? yeah. No, it, it, exactly. And so I, 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 Sacramento, wow. I don't want to see them in the second round. That's going to be tough. But, yeah, they'll definitely get past their first round. Yeah, the Warriors definitely don't want to see the Kings in the second round. So, or in the first round. Uh, Look, man, this Kings team is special. They are the number one offense in the league. They are shattering clutch time stats in the last two months, like destroying it. Mike Brown feels, to me at least, like a shoe-in, like a runaway for Coach of the Year. Uh, They have something very exciting going. Um, The energy in the Golden One Center is going to be insane. They're going to break the longest uh, playoff drought uh, in the uh, longest current playoff drought in NBA, in the NBA. Um, it'll be their first one in 17 years. 17 years. That's crazy. Wow. It's Cars like my- was number one at the box office the last time Kings, <laughs> Kings made the <laughs> playoffs. Were gonna say- that, was, that, was Mike, that was Mike Bibby. Not, Peja, not uh, Cars uh, 2 or 3. Cars. Ka-chow. That's a That's a TikTok video. Last time <laughs> the, 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 they were in the playoffs. Lightning McQueen! Yeah. Uh, Daniel Powder's bad day was number one in the Billboard charts the last time the Kings day. were in the playoffs. Shout out to copyright. Uh, you want to know what else was going on in 2006? Uh, oh, 06? LeBron James was averaging two fewer points per game than he does right now. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. The Lakers are going to get the two seed. Sorry, the Lakers are going to get the seven seed and get the two seed, the two seven matchup. And they are going to make the short trip up to NorCal and give the Kings a stern talking to about their proper place in the Pacific Division hierarchy. Lakers in six. You heard it here first. Yep. Love yeah. it. The Kings are amazing. Like yes. They ain't got nothing for LeBron. Nope. They ain't got nothing for Anthony Davis. And the Kings are special. It's not their time yet. Thank zero you for the chemistry. Home. Soon. They, yes, yes. I don't know about zero chemistry. I disagree I mean, with you on the chemistry thing. I, wanna, they've got, I think they've got great chemistry. They're a young, hungry team. This is the reason I picked them as my surprise team in before the season started. Okay. They're, a, they're a island, the island of misfit toys. They've been traded. They've been cut. They've been all over the place, and now they're making something work, and Mike Brown has getting the most out of every single one of the guys, 1 through 12 on that roster. I think chemistry isn't their issue. I think it's star power. And I, with I, that, I get that with, like, the young, and they're playing well together this year, but, like, Let's say they match up with the Warriors in the playoffs. That's that's yeah. when you're dealing with a team that has chemistry with like I don't see them just walking over the Warriors and like Oh, I don't no, see hell no. I don't see the like Kings that. walking over anybody unless they get like, you know, unless some some fluke happens like where it's like Pelicans yeah. or the yeah, Blazers or definitely. yeah, the, the Pelicans with Zion still gone. So all right, we're tied at one hundred. On to question three now. Mm-hmm. This dude scored thirty six points. Six rebounds and four assists and hit two clutch threes to send his ga- this game to overtime where his team would win 125-116. Hey, guys, what dude just did this? Uh, I think this is the one that I thought of first. <laughs> you think this is a staff one? Yeah. I mean, uh, okay. But 38, I'm trying to remember. 36, st- right? 36? 36. 36. 36. 36 points. I, don't trust me on this one again. You guys think of ideas. Okay. Um, what was the what was it again? Is she, 36, 6, and 4, two clutch threes to send the game to overtime where his team would win 125-116. Yes, this is Steph. This is Steph. This is the overtime game where he's they had no business winning the game against, I want to say, the Grizzlies? Grizzlies, yeah. Uh, This was the Saturday game. One Bucks, of them. Bucks. That was the you Bucks. Know, no, it was the Bucks game. It was the Bucks game. Yeah, it was the Bucks game. What do you mean no business winning? Be- because Giannis the, the was Bucks, out. Yeah, the Bucks choked yeah. down the game. They were up eight with two minutes left. Um, so yeah, it's called I'm Warriors go- ball. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> you're right. You guys have played so great this year. But so <laughs> let's go with Steph Curry versus the Bucks. I think. Is this? Oh, I guess we could ask. Is this a Western Conference player? Yes. I'm gonna go Steph. Yeah. yeah. Steph. 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 Yep. Yes. Let's go. Well done. Well, I forgot to play the kip. Here it is. Curry, a three-pointer. Bang! Steph Curry from downtown again. Yes, yeah, Steph Curry from downtown again. He nearly got a double bang out of Breen. <laughs> so Almost. There have only been five in history, and one of them is Julius Randle. And <laughs> the, what was the other one? Mar Eric Marcus Smart. Marcus. And Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon. Gordon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Steph and Luca. Jeez Louise. Uh, <laughs> Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors beat the 2021 champion Milwaukee Bucks on Saturday night, thanks in no small part to Curry's exceptional late game play, including a huge block over Drew Holiday to force overtime. Trey, does this game restore your confidence in the Warriors to be title contenders? Yeah, I always, I mean, I'm always with the Warriors. I always have confidence in them finishing and finishing the season and becoming champions. I mean, you got Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, best shooters in the game. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I with Steph being back, yeah, you you got all you can't count the Warriors out. Okay, Trey. Justin, Justin. thank you for your input. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, it, I have zero confidence in them being title contenders. I think it's uh, more likely that they are not in the final eight of the playoffs than they are a title contender at this point in time. They were about to go on a five game road, Holy. five yeah five game road trip. That's what I'm looking for. Um, and they don't play well on the road. They have a very hard schedule to finish out the season, so it's very likely they could wind up in the 8-9 or the 10th spot and have to win two games to get into the playoffs. And I'm sorry, if you're at the, if you're at the 10, you got to play two road games to get into the playoffs. And I don't know if you know this or not, they don't win road games. They've only won um, seven. So I don't know why you would be glaring at me over there, but like this is your <laughs> team, and these are just what this is what they've done all season this year. So I don't know why they would be a title contender. I hate to agree with you, but boy, oh boy, that's it's they're in a rough spot, Bob. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the Warriors love to. There's no excuse for, you know, all right. Bottom line is Chris Middleton was the best player on that team for the Bucks yesterday, or sorry, on Saturday. And while they didn't have Giannis, we didn't have Wiggins, and I'm not going to get down to a ticky-tacky, oh, if one was healthy, oh, if full teams was what we're looking at here. It really comes down to what we expect out of a Warriors team. And this is a culture and a brand that is built on winning in those clutch situations. Uh, look at the clutch time stats. Uh, Kobe and Michael don't have Steph's numbers in that respectness. They know what they're doing. When they get to that third, fourth quarter, even overtime, it doesn't matter. They won. Mm -hmm. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. And I have really thought long and hard about how to go about this conversation, about like, oh, why and how do the Warriors beat the Bucks? It comes down the to... The Bucks. They got to get to the finals to play the Bucks. Well, yeah. I mean, I'll, uh, in Justin's perfect world, it's the Bucks celtics finals. But, you know, there has to be a Western Conference team. But still... It, the Warriors are still just fine. Like they're still top just, on the offensive, right? The offensive ratings, yeah, That's absolutely. Great. Number There's, one in this is they've won the same amount of road games as the Detroit Pistons. There, you see, you can pull any. That's ass like, stat well, but, but, out. but you pull yeah, any yeah, yeah, yeah. stat when, when out. When you have this isn't this isn't any ass stat. They're not going to be a home court team. They need they need to either a miraculously improve on the road, or get a number four seat. So okay. I still, I still think they can go on a run. I hear what you're saying. I hear what both of you are saying. I still think they can make a run. These kinds of teams don't go quietly. I made this point when we were, when we were on the trip a couple of times. We need to start looking at these Warriors like the Patriots uh, of their 20-year run. Now, granted, 20 years in the NBA, that's been done once. What? The, 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 or the Spurs, right? These Warriors are like that. They are always going to be in the mix because you have a player like Steph. Man, he is... Crazy. Uh, okay, so if they really want to shot another title, they need to get a home court, and I don't see that coming. Uh, they It just doesn't seem likely. They're two and a half games back to the fourth spot. The Warriors have won seven straight at home. They've lost eight straight on the road. They're 7-26. and 26. The only teams that have the uh, worst road records are the 17-50 and 50 Spurs and the 15-52 and 52 Rockets. How they, much do you count of that for Steph being out, though? Not enough, because he's there. 
because he's been there and their road record res- it resembles what it would be if if you just remove his games mm-hmm. their road uh, win percentage resembles what it is full season okay. it's not just Steph's absence it, yes it, that was probably played a factor but not nearly enough they're on track to have the worst record road record ever by a defending champion ever in NBA history uh but I wouldn't worry about it. They still have <laughs> Steph Curry. I wouldn't worry about it. Come yeah. playoff time, that he won't can matter. Win. Hey. But it, well, but hang on, hang on. I, I don't want to say it doesn't matter. Yeah. It does matter. I don't want to go into if they somehow end up with this king, with somehow with Kings Warriors. I don't want to go to the Golden One Center with with the energy of of them potentially taking down the reigning champions in a game seven or a game five. I mean, they, they are going to have to play. And I know Steph and all these guys on this Warriors team are used to playing these moments, but these are big moments that like they're bad on the road this season. And we can't just scrap that away because they have the guy. I mean, they still have, he, they still have him and he can win you a game. He can win you a playoff series. Uh, at least, and last year he showed us he could probably win you a title. So I'm not counting him out yet. Um, but they really need to figure something out on the road, and it's been it, it, it's been uh, uh, what sixty eight games, and they have nothing to show for it on the road except for seven road wins. And I'd love to see the numbers True. on those road wins. Well, the stats too; they were ten and ten, then they were twenty and twenty, yeah, and they 30 were thirty and thirty. Yeah. So Who like, have they what, lost on the championship team? Dog, though, other than so, Gary Payton. So here's the deal: Gary Payton hey, co- hey, being quick. injured sucks, and yeah, we lost Otto Porter Jr. Hey, hey real quick. <laughs> Anybody know when Andrew Wiggins is coming back? I mean, like that's not like a huge loss, though. That's not like we're going to lose a championship because we Does lost. Anybody know uh, when Andrew Wiggins is But it's not about back? losing a championship. I don't think that it's about black and white losing or a these championship. Losses. We just we have to keep in mind that you have to get there. First. Jordan Poole sure. is incredibly inconsistent. We have Ty Jerome and DiVincenzo, you know, two way G League players. Uh, Anthony Lamb is working in and out. Uh, M- Moses Moody only played six minutes over the last two weeks. That's the most he'll probably see in a while. Not having Wiseman sucks because we really anticipated him being a rim protector and someone who he dished the ball to underneath. But instead, we still just have the loon dog who's a very good passer, incredible rebounder, and a really good facilitator for a big man. Yes, the matchups are bad on the front court. And yes, the crap on the road we all know that but the Warriors are still look what they're still doing in this competitive West despite having G League players in and out of the rotation they're two games over five dog if I told you the Warriors were going to defend their title by going two games over 500 you'd be like that's ridiculous what are they six in the West yeah they're six yeah 35 and 33 look at that yeah, the competitive West. Look, I, I, you can't count them out because of because of Steph Curry. We need to start putting him in that same conversation. Look, we have him in. A, I would think we can all all agree, bare minimum. I'm not going to put him specifically anywhere, but top twenty player of all time. We'll just mm-hmm. say that just around right. But he's a top twenty player of all time. We need to start. We need to start giving him the respect as such. There are moments that Steph can just go thermonuclear and win. You forget a game, but a playoff series. Yeah. He, I know he's no Luke Kennard over there, Bob, but thank you. <laughs> but Steph can go crazy. But the team as a whole, I mean, when do we start approaching 2018 LeBron status or 2015 LeBron status where it's just him? And it, 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 then it comes down to is Steph Curry going to drag your team to the finals? And that's the big question mark to me. I mm-hmm. think he's capable of it. I don't foresee it. We saw it last year. I think it's possible. Yeah, well, no, you just said they were without Wiggins. The Warriors and Wiggins be was the third best player in that final series. In the finals, regular season, he yes. Was, well, but we're not talking regular Role season. Player regular season is almost point. over. You got to talk about the the playoffs now. They're going to have to play in difficult road games, and Andrew Wiggins most likely isn't going to be there. Steve Kerr said right. two days ago he's unsure about Wiggins returning this season, the so he might not be back. GP2, who they traded for, is not going to be back, most likely, More unless likely. they make a very deep playoff run, like several Game 7 series, which they would most likely have to do because they're not going to have home court advantage at any point in the NBA, in, in the season, or unless there's crazy upsets in the postseason, unless there's crazy upsets. I do, I, I'm not counting the Warriors out because of Steph Curry and because of Clay Thompson and because of this system that they have. But I don't oh. think that they should be included in 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 like running over any of these teams. Mm-hmm. I think they can make it. I probably put them in a top three Western Conference contender category still somehow, and it's because of Steph. I but think they've they go got to pull off some miracle shit on the road to make that happen. I th- I'll say it now, hot take. They're going farther in the Nuggets this year. One hundred percent. I'll say it. Now. That'd be that'd be interesting. I I don't I don't know if I they disagree will. with you. We'll see. All righty. On to question four now. Uh, this dude. Oh yep. 
<laughs> this dude scored 38 points, eight rebounds, and five assists, but went three for 12 from three in a win over an opponent that really needed that game. Ooh. Hey guys, what dude just did this? I think this was 38? 38. 38. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's his name? Yeah. What's his name? What's his name? Place for the Knicks. Julius Randle just did this against the Lakers. Lakers really need to get this win, and they didn't. And Julius Randle. Julius Randle? Yeah. Yeah, I know the Knicks the were in town. So they yes, played they Kawhi played Clippers, the Clippers and the Lakers. And the Kawhi day. just had a big game, too. I don't know how many he scored, but I know that he... It may have been 38. Yeah? I don't know. I'm ready to talk about the Knicks for show. When Let's I, do the Knicks. When I, I mean, think it's uh, about a team that needed the win, because this... Can you read the stat line again, please? 38, 8, stand. and 5. Went 3 or 12 from 3. Mm -hmm. And what was the last portion of the year? Went uh, in a win over an opponent that really needed it. Yeah, an opponent that really needed it. The Knicks don't really need a win. Like, mm -hmm. the Lakers would need a win. Yeah. And the, the Clippers, Clippers just do. beat the Knicks. They need a win. The Clippers need a win? Or I mean, they're in the fifth speed. No, they don't. No, need they don't a win. need a win. My thing is, the Lakers needed a win because they dropped. They? When they lost, they dropped from like nine to eleven. So I'm gonna go with. I think it's Julius Randle versus the Lakers. To be honest with you, Trey, you cool with that? Uh, yeah. Let's do. Let's yeah. Let's do it. I don't know let's what he's looking at. Yeah, neither am I. Because I'm looking at the schedule right. to see who the Clippers played these last <laughs> couple <of> games. <laughs> yeah, I. Just to see, just to see, playing, like so. if what if that's what I want to go with. Randall? I'm like, Randall, Randall. I'm thinking well, let's, it's Kawhi. See. let's go Randall. Let's see. Let's see. Oh god. Randall drives on Russell. Oh, good it. job. Beautiful. Second one of those for Julius Randall. Yep. Yes, good job, Justin. Good Julius job, Randall Justin. and New York Knicks took down the Lakers in L.A. last night to pull one game closer to the five seed in the East. It looks like we might be on track for a Cavs-Knicks 4-5 matchup in round one. Hey, Trey, if it's the 4-5 matchup between the Cavs and the Knicks, not the Heat, we got Cavs-Knicks. That's going to be a really good series, by the way. Bang. Um, if I had to pick a team, man, I want to lean, lean Cavs, but the Knicks have been playing crazy. I mean, uh, who's that point guard? Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson. <laughs> Jalen Brunson. Who's yeah, guy? who's that guy? Who's that guy? Did this dude? What yeah, dude? No. Jalen Brunson, he's been playing amazing. That was a huge signing for the Knicks. Um, uh, Julius Randle has been – he's a really – he's been playing really well. <laughs> uh, Go watch on YouTube, R guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. RJ Barrett, yeah. I, the Knicks will definitely take this series. I think it would go to seven games. Uh, Cavs and four. Wait. Hold Wait, on. You think it would what? go to seven games, Cavs seven, and four? Uh, the Cavs win in seven is what you're saying? Win in seven, yeah. Sorry. Okay. The yeah. Cavs win four yes, games. Yes, four games. Yes. Gotcha. Required to advance. Yeah. I feel you. Just <laughs> yeah, I would if it came down to it, I'm gonna go with Cavs and five. Like I don't see the Knicks as a threat, especially the Cavaliers team that's got basically four great starters right now. Comparatively, like they would probably have the first, second, fourth, third, and fifth fourth, best players fifth, on the court against the Knicks. Like Jalen Brunson would probably be the third best player on the court. So like I would what? have to lean Cavs by yeah by a decent margin. I think the Cavs are that much better than the Knicks. Wow, we oh my God, Can I just, Brunson third best. What are you? Wa are you even watching the NBA right now, bro? Yeah, he's what the than, fuck? He's what? not better than Donovan Mitchell. He's not. He's not better oh, than Darius. Oh no, 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 bro. I, that, I think that, I go. No, no, no. He's better than Darius. No, no, He's better than Darius. James Harden. Oh, shit. James Harden. <laughs> That's the wrong clip. <laughs> Play it. <laughs> Hang on, wait. <laughs> this is the new one from last week, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wait, okay. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on a second. James Harden. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, Hold on. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, my God. Jalen Brunson. Uh, so that Dallas series against the Jazz, Jalen Brunson was the better player against Donovan Mitchell, the stat line wise, everything, eye test, whatever you want to do. Jalen Brunson was better, and Luca didn't oh. play for those two games, dude, and those first two games of the series. Um, I think I, a big Brunson upper over there. I am a big Brunson guy. He's just not better. third best. What? He's not. He is better than Darius Garland right now. Yes, he is better. And I'd argue better than Mitchell right now. Too. No, no, he's no, not. Donovan no, he's not. Mitchell. I would. Had no, 70 no, points no, in a game. no, yeah, yeah, he no. Actually did have 70 he's not. Seventy-eight and hey, eleven. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> not even close. Listen. So. In that series <laughs> matchup, we saw that was last Brunson last stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Donovan Mitchell. 
arguably in that series, Brunson looked a little bit better. Now, Bob, can you get on I mic, get it. please? What? Can you get on mic? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> when we look at the way the po- the way the offseason went in the trade, I think it's going to be really fun. Sorry, I'll bring it down. Um, the It's going to be a lot of fun to watch because if that is the case, then it's going to be like, oh, look, we got Donovan Mitchell and we're going to prove that we're better than you. Or it's, haha, you took Donovan Mitchell and we didn't even want him in the first place. We got Jalen Brunson. But I think defensively the Cavs, man, that front court's so solid. And they're younger than most of the young core with the Knicks. So, sure, there's youth. But that doesn't always play well in the playoffs. I do believe the Knicks will give them a run for their money. And I want a riveting seven games. Cavaliers do take it, though. Cavs in six. It's time for Bob's Buckets. Hi! Hey. Anyway. Hey. So I actually have a really cool one. Uh, so this is a report. So this is a story first reported by the Wichita Eagle. Oh. You guys are going to love this. So uh, nearly, stompers. nearly two months ago, uh, the Wichita West High School girls varsity team had their season cut short. And you're like, oh, man, why does this matter? Well, due to low attendance and just general public school shenanigans, you know what I mean? Anyway, their season was cut short in January, and it absolutely devastated the seniors and the whole team and the whole family and parents that were there. Well, this got picked up by the Eagle back in February, and the Warriors, their director of VP is actually an old WSU alum and Wichita native. He heard about this, reached out to West High, and invited them down to the Warriors-Oklahoma City Thunder game. This was last Tuesday. Um, they went down and they got to meet Steph Curry. They get to, they got to meet Clay Thompson. They got to meet Steve Kerr. Like they, oh. it was so cool. And so it was just really nice to see that while the Wichita public school system and in general, the public school education system doesn't support a lot of these athletic programs, that it is important to do that. And that these are lifelong memories and connections that you'll make. I mean, these girls were still going to practice despite their season being canceled. Wow. And so it just says a lot. And, um, yeah, shout out to the Warriors and shout out to West High. Starts with the kids. I mean, they yep. got to watch Steph Curry drop 40 points. That's awesome. In a loss. I'll remember that forever. <laughs> yeah. Chill out. That is, a, that, is a, that is a good thing that the Warriors shout did. Out uh, shout out to the Dubs. Shout out to yes. Bob. Looking good today, bud. Thanks, brother. All right, we're bringing a classic back. It's not a classic, but it's something we did a couple times, and it was fun, so let's do it again. <laughs> It's the crossover. Here's how this segment works. I have pulled a recent NBA news story. That's not true. Uh, taken out some words, names, and numbers, and it will be your job to replace those key elements without knowing what you're replacing. We'll then read back the story to just see how much you've changed the story. Uh, if you've played Mad Libs, this is pretty much that. Um, Except this time it was generated by AI. It's not a real storyline, so don't don't worry about that. Uh, An important part of this is speed and absurdity. Obviously, keep it clean generally, but let's have some fun. All right. Uh, Okay, so uh, let's play this. Uh, Let's play this. All right. Trey, give me a player, an NBA player. NBA player, Steph Curry. Adjective. Justin. Oh, shoddy. Okay. Noun, Bob. Feet. We're going to go with foot. that okay? Yes. Thank you. Uh, a sport tray. It's so not basketball. Kayaking. Okay. <laughs> How about competitive kayaking? That work? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Adjective. Oh, uh, let's go with veiny. <laughs> <laughs> Verb, Bob. Um, Give me... Stuffed. Adjective, Trey. Something describing something else. Old. Old. Adjective. Youthful. Oh, wow. Number, Bob. Um. Sixty-nine. <laughs> Shocker. Adjective, <laughs> Trey. Blue. Okay. Now, round us out there, Justo. Ooh, let's go with uh, Crescent Wrench. We're going to go with Wrench. Okay. Awesome. 
<laughs> All righty, sounds good. Okay, so let's see. Once upon a time, Steph Curry was walking down the street when he saw a shoddy foot approaching him. Oh. The foot challenged Steph to a game of competitive kayaking. <laughs> wow. But Steph was um, veiny. <laughs> <laughs> Go on and, and unsure if he wanted to play. After some uh, verb, I got stuffed for verb. You could use stuffing. Uh, after some stuffing, Steph decided to accept the challenge. <laughs> the game was old and youthful. Ah, yeah. With both. Teams scoring 69 points. Oh man. In the end, Steph Curry emerged victorious thanks to their uh blue wrench skills. Nice. Nice. The foot was gracious in defeat. <laughs> Congratulating <laughs> Steph on their per impressive performance. What a story. Oh, what a story. Man. What a good one. Hey. A wrench might come up to Stefan and <laughs> I don't even know how points are scored in kayak. <laughs> <laughs> it's a race. It's a race. Okay, so yeah. the points might not apply. Okay, all right. Well, that's fine. Well, it's like the slalom. You miss it, you lose it. Yes. Okay. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we hope you're having fun because we sure are. <laughs> On to number two. Bob, you get to start us off here. Give me an NBA team. <sighs> Kings. Adjective tray. Green. <laughs> NBA team, Justin. Give me the Rockets. Number, Bob. 96. Amazing. Player tray. Uh, uh, Shangoon. Mm. Mm. Verb. Oh, darting. Nice. We'll go with dart. You did the same thing last time. Adjective. Um, how about fugly? Nice. Noun tray. Noun. Round. Verb. Oh. Give me jumped. Jump word. Verb. Bob. Smiley. We're going to go with smile. Okay, fine. Adjective tray. Mad. Adjective. Mm, give me... Give me morose. Wow, nice. <laughs> NBA team, Bob. Bobcats. Oh, <laughs> nice. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, once upon a time, the Sacramento Kings, the uh, sorry, the, the the Sacramento Kings were facing off against the Green Houston Rockets in a crucial playoff game. The score was tied with only 96 seconds left on the clock. <laughs> Alper and Shengun dribbled the ball up the court. Darted past defenders. Dart, yeah, dart, darted. Dart darted. past. Uh, I That's don't know if works. AI set me up for success there. With time running out, Shengun launched a fugly, <laughs> <laughs> a fugly round. Uh, oh, was it round for noun? Pound? Oh, this is rough. try. We're gonna go with pound. A uh, fugly pound uh, from beyond the arc. The ball soared through the air, uh, jumped off the rim, and smiled through the net as the buzzer sounded. <laughs> Bing. The Boom. king. The kings had won the game in mad fashion, mm. sending home the sending on the home crowd into a frenzy. Shen Goon was hailed as a hero. And the morose Bobcats players were left stunned by a dramatic finish. Yes. Wow. Who would have thought they were watching from home? Couldn't yeah, have they were. Because yeah. yeah. they weren't involved in this. They were terrible. I would have thought. In a, in a multiverse, probably. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, yeah. Oh. you can't win them all, guys. On the Trace <laughs> Fact of the Day. All righty, guys. So we're going to be talking about a player and one, Markel Fultz, who is currently shooting better than Steph Curry. 
No. Dame Lillard. No. And Kyrie Irving what? this season. From the field? Yeah, and he's having a career best year with uh, in points <laughs> per game, field goal percentage, three-point percentage, assists per game, steals per games, and rebounds per game. So, wow. I, I mean, when we talk about this player, I mean, the Orlando Magic aren't doing anything this year, but I wanted to talk about him because he got a lot of, I mean, he was the number one pick in 2017. He kind of got off to a bad start. Uh, they talked about his shooting form. Like he got hurt, played with injury, ACL injury. And um, to, I mean, to have his name up there shooting better than top top players like Kyrie, Dame, yeah. and uh, Steph, that's that's Best shooter ever right there. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I'd like to see... I'd like to see him go somewhere else or play somewhere else. I think if he's in the right system, he'd he'd play really well. But uh, yeah, keep doing your thing, Mark. Here's the fun thing about Markel Fultz. Yeah, I heard this. You know, Ben Simmons made this point. So you know, fuck Ben Simmons, but uh, not Ben Simmons, Bill Simmons. Ben Simmons, though, if the Nets offered Ben Simmons for Markel, Markel Fultz straight up, the Magic say no to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that's that insane? Wild. That's actually insane. <laughs> That's but crazy. It's the truth. It's yeah. the truth. And I mean, that's that's really a credit to Markel. I, you know, I was really rocking with the Sixers when they were kind of on that, you know, on that downturn. I was anticipating a big rise from them. Actually, it never really happened. But um, and I was hype on Markel. I mean, Me he, too. he j- him just like just like Ben Simmons in the in the uh, in summer league was like exciting to watch. And then it just all fell apart, brother. But I'm really glad that he's uh, gotten back to a good good point. Yeah, I'm happy definitely. for him. And he's a, he's a good, exciting player. He's one of the like smoothest. He's point guards in the league. He's like he, he, his pace is crazy. His pace is insane. Yeah, it's a, it's hard to keep up with him. I'll is take, that what Ben Simmons needs? What? Like a very small market with no expectations to win anything, like Orlando, mm. where you can just go B or Washington, and then yeah, like figure well, no, uh, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> yes, you know what I mean. And then he'll figure it out, and they'll, they'll come back, and we'll be like, woohoo, Ben Simmons. Yeah, I mean, maybe I I, maybe. I don't know what Ben Simmons needs, but it's something he needs something. Uh, Because, golly, that's rough over there. All right, we're playing a brand new game called Full Court Guess. It's like Full Court (laughs) Press, except it's Full Court Guess. Michael, if you make me laugh that hard again, I swear to God. Well, okay. Damn, Bob, that was cold-blooded. All right, here's how this one goes. I will portray a specific NBA player. I will then list you a series of facts and clues about who the player is. You will work alone to guess the NBA player as I list the facts. Uh, You guess one guess. You have get one guess per round, so use it wisely. If none of you guess the player, by the time we get to the last clue, I get the points for that round. Each round is worth 100 points. Does that sound good to everybody? Oh, yeah. 60-ish seconds on the clock. Ready? All-time players? Any uh all, these are all current players. All current. Okay. All three of these guys. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> are current players, yeah. Okay, here we go. I was born on March eleventh, nineteen ninety-three. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. My middle name is Marshawn. I played my high school ball at Perspectives Charter School. Is this Jimmy Butler? No, and that's your guess. Yep. I won the national championship in my only year of college. Is it Kimball Walker? No, only I can guess. I was the SEC Rookie of the Year in my only season in college. I was drafted first overall in my Uh. draft. I've played for two NBA teams and was the key piece in a blockbuster trade. I'm an eight-time NBA All-Star. I'm an All-Star Game MVP. Is this Dwayne Wade? It's all current players, oh, brother. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh man, why do I know I... who it is now? I do. T- I think sorry. I know. Who is Derek Rose? Davis. Is it Kyrie? It's Anthony Davis. Derek it Gross. is Anthony Davis. Oh, oh. No, 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 damn! How did I, do I was that to very myself? surprised you guys fired those, man. Those uh, those shots off. So how did fast? I do that to myself? I don't know. I was just going for man, it. Man, I, 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 mean? I should have waited for the SEC. Is this a current thing? player? Yeah. Yeah. It is a current player. Yes, it's Anthony Davis. The last clue, of course, says I'm a six ten power forward for the Los Angeles Lakers. My name is Anthony Davis. Yeah, I know. I don't know why you fired off when you were the only one that could guess. Okay. All right. To 100 points to me. Thank you so much for those. On to question two. <sighs> I was born June 12th, 1990. My middle name is Randall. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Both of my parents played college basketball at Arizona State. 
I attended Campbell Hall High School. I was the 2008 Gatorade National Player of the Year. I started all 35 games I played in college. I was drafted 17th overall. I have played for three NBA teams in my 14-year career. Is it Derrick Rose? No. Damn. I've won the NBA Teammate of the Year twice and the NBA Sportsmanship Award once. I'm a two-time NBA All-Star. I've made two all-defensive first teams. I've made two all-defensive second teams. I'm a one-time NBA champion. Tyson Chandler. No, I'm a 6'5 point guard for the Bucks. Oh, oh my Drew Holiday. Damn, too late. Oh, man. 100 points to me. Drew wow. Holiday is the correct answer, but you did not get it in time. Mm -hmm. oh, so you do have to guess before the timer goes off. You out. have to get it okay. before the timer mm -hmm. goes off. Well, before we get to that last clue. I mean, gotcha. you can say it if you got it, but you won't get the points for that last clue because the last clue is always, I am a blank, 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 blank for the blank. For sure. It'll, blank. Al it'll always reveal it. Blank. 200 points for me. This is the last question here. So on to the last one. I think this one might be tricky, but so I would advise patience here. That kind of be my general like guidance for the whole thing. You're kind of firing your clues and your questions Dude. off fast. I Boo, patience. Time. Boo. Oh, Boo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last one. I was born August 27th, 2001. My middle name is Jacob. I'm from Berlin. My older brother attended the same college is that I did. Wagner? It Mo, Mo is Franz Wagner. Wagner. Oh. Yes. Yep. Damn Good it. job. You got it early. Yes. Good, Good job. Hundo That's points why to you. you. Patience sucks. Exactly. <laughs> well, you had it this one. This is the one that I thought you guys would be stumped on, but the brother thing, I guess, can yeah. give it away. No, it was the Germany thing. <laughs> well, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So How I, many German players are there in the yeah, league? Yeah, I, I put the 22-year-old German. Franz, Mo, and yeah. uh, Dennis Schroeder is the only ones I could think of. Oh, sure. Uh, Capella Swiss. Struess. Yeah. Struess, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, good job. Well, that was a full court guess. And now that we've got some points today, we're going to gamble them away in, of course, props to you. All right, another exciting props to you. We have Trey in a commanding first place <laughs> lead with 4,200 points. <laughs> He's taking Embiid's over at 10.5 rebounds versus the Cavs. Trey, how many points are you betting? Get to 10,000. Do I'm it I'm going to be conservative about no, do this. It no, do it We're no. talking about some of these... Uh, Punishments. Punishments that we're mm -hmm. going to have to do, and I don't want any part of that. They're not, <laughs> they're not <laughs> that bad, Trey. Come on. Look. Let's I mean, be honest. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 am what am I at? What am I at? 4,200. 4,200. Yeah. And I'm... I'm betting on you this over, right? You are double oh, up over on anybody. Ten and a half rebounds. Yeah, you have more than double points than everybody. Let's put fifteen hundred on it. You have oh. more points than. <laughs> yes. What did you say? Fifteen hundred. He betted more points than I think I have. I'm, has, in, yeah, I'm I can in only yeah. second place uh, with eighteen hundred points. I have Anthony Edwards over twenty four and a half versus the Celtics. I'm gonna bet eight hundred points. Ooh. Michael, you're in third place. 1550. You yep. have a Joel Embiid under 32 and a half points versus the Cavs. What are you betting? I'm going to go. There's three Mondays left in March. Mm -hmm. Give it all to me. All of it. All of it. 1550, 1550 on Embiid's under ones. 32 and a half. Hey, Bob, you took Steph's over at 31 and a half versus the Clippers in an away game. And here we go. Uh, 1250 points. What are you doing? Uh, 900. 900 big ones. Got to save those 350, I guess. Yep. Uh, And that's where we have it. That's what we do. Yeah, so if you guys listening or watching at home want to keep track of all of our game picks as well as chat with us, give us uh, game ideas or ask us questions, be sure to hit the link in the description of that episode to uh, join our chalkboard group chat. It's a whole lot of fun, fun, free way to support the show. While we're on the topic of punishments and uh, <laughs> should we reveal ha, what's ha, been going ha. on? If you didn't go to YouTube, Bob, how do you feel? You want to go on offend a camera? Yeah, there he is. Yay. Hey. Hey. How's it going, Bob? Bob was a sock puppet this whole episode. Yes. How do you feel? How's your arm? No, it it, it wasn't too bad. Uh, there was a point where I'm still, still talking doing with the puppets. <laughs> <laughs> there was a point where I put it on my left hand and I tried to like do some weird. <laughs> I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I tried to do this. And I had like the mic here and then like my laptop in my lap and it just it didn't work. It was not working. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's a lot of fun. We've added we've added a lot of uh, a lot of fun punishments. And so so a little background on this one. You came up with this to like you were like I want to like do a character as a yeah. sock puppet, and then we kind of flushed out and was like, what if it was a punishment? And so then the ver- the few days later is when you drew it. The very Dude, next day. The next day. The very next day yeah. is when you drew it in the in the sign of pain. That's why we were so excited yeah. last week. We, we were, were like pumped. Yes, because yes! we thought this would be like, oh, you know, it might happen in May, kind of thing. Like if you lose, but it happened the very next day. So how exciting! That Perfect. Was. It really worked out. It was a whole lot of fun. Uh, as always, everybody, thank you so much for listening. We do appreciate it. Be sure to like, subscribe, rate five stars, share with friends, and follow us at yay underscore basketball on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Add me on the group. And just a reminder, we are recording live, if you didn't get the vibe from this episode, <laughs> on that, which means, of course, we do not edit. We uh, press record, and then we post what we've got. Do it live! I can, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! Trey? Hey. I know I have. Hey. Well, first things first, it's Good Samaritan Day, so make sure you're being a good Samaritan. Oh, but second, yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna pull up a Wizards watch. Shout out oh, to Justin. Oh yeah, okay. they've this, lost uh, three straight. Steal it. <laughs> well, no, actually, it's about Kristaps because uh, oh, he's oh, actually revived mind. his career as well because he's actually having a better career this year than he did his All Star year. So wow. Um, mm-hmm. Hopefully, Kristaps can robbed. What that he should have been an All Star. Push. All-Star. The push. All-Star. push. push. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We'll see about the Wizards. They might make the play in. That'd be exciting to watch them get gacked by 40. All right, Justin, what you got? Uh, just have a great day, guys. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Chill and have a wonderful time. Guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Bob, <laughs> uh, Sock Aldred over there, what you got? <laughs> uh, well, I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to know that the first knitted socks from around 1500 BC were found in Jutlin, which is now part of Denmark. Uh, the first stockings were found in Egyptian graves in Antony and circa 500 AD. And for a long time, stockings and socks were a privilege of the rich. And manufacturing was a guild secret. They literally wouldn't tell you how to make these bad boys. Now, oh, look at this shit. Yeah, now, yeah. now we put it in our hands for a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> My, how, how we've changed. Oh, man. How times have changed. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. We do appreciate it. Uh, got some exciting things coming to you very, very soon. I think next week we're going to start our uh, new uh, adventure, and you guys will be a part of that shortly thereafter. Can't wait. We love you. Don't forget, gay basketball. <laughs>